what you'll hear uh, when they talk to each other, they'll be doing buddy checks and um, saying how each other's spacesuit looks and reporting that to each other. Uh, they do have some procedures to um, uh, make sure all of their uh, suit components are in a good uh, spot before they actually translate or move over. But these uh, procedures are all about communication. Houston copies, and once you've got your files, International Space the Station over, is over the South Pacific Ocean right now. We'll uh, we're entering into an orbital daytime, okay. so you're seeing the sun rise over the okay. horizon of the Earth right now. some uh, wonderful views from the outside of the International Space Station right now. The duo are just at the beginning of their planned six and a half hour spacewalk. They're getting a sunrise over the South Pacific Ocean and we're getting uh, great high definition views from their helmet cameras right now. Uh, they just finished performing buddy checks, and you heard the ground IVZ and a Cartman uh, telling them to take their time. Of course, they have done uh, plenty of spacewalk training, including here on the ground uh, at the Johnson Space Center here in Houston as a laboratory called the Neutral Buoyancy Laboratory, uh, where they practice these things underwater. It is a very good analog for understanding what it's like in the microgravity environment, but the two of them now are first-time spacewalkers, so they're going to take some time on the outside of the hatch to just get used to understanding the differences between uh, performing the spacewalk in a pool with the resistance of water and having no resistance uh, in the vacuum of space. Um, their translation path uh, or their movement out to the work site is, is all the way out on the wings of the International Space Station on the solar arrays. So they do have uh, a quite a bit of, of, of translation to go to, so they're just sort of getting their bearings, making sure they understand their movements before they make that journey. sites. They are getting high definition views. This is Nicole Mann, call sign Duke. She's wearing the suit with no stripes and she's got that giant bag with her. That's the strut bag that has the mounting platform uh, that they're going to be installing today. Both of them will be uh, working on the 1A channel. Koichi Wakata's got to make a stop first to work on the 1B. Um, but Nicole Mann's going to get uh, get started right away. So she's got that bag in tow. Uh, she'll be able to unbuckle uh, some of the straps that are holding those components in place, uh, retrieve some of the materials materials and it is a they'll be installing it one at a time um, the ground teams have plenty of experience with this type of work this is this will be the sixth modification kit the sixth time that we've used these struts to attach to a, a mast canister um, so they're prepared for uh, any of uh, issues or troubleshooting they need to do along the way um, and that work will be being done soon right now we're just watching the translation or the movement 
Stand by, Kuichi. So the upper triangle is installed. You'll hear the periodic uh, glove and hat checks with the glove just to make sure there are no nicks or scrapes and make sure they're in good quality to continue working on the spacewalk. And then the half is the helmet absorption pad, just a quick field test to see if there's any uh, liquid or water. Uh, everything looks good. So we'll hear those checks periodically. That red is a retractable tether. That's the one that was anchoring the um, upper triangle to the strut bag. So uh, Duke has to release that and then they can move on to the next task. She's going to be um, exiting the foot restraint here shortly.